Hi everyone, welcome back to Dev Doge Academy and welcome back to Introduction to Programming using Java. So since I like it so much this exercise, I have one extra that's pretty similar to what we did here. So this exercise is the following. Create a program that will show a menu to the user asking for a username and then a password. The correct username and password must be stored already in variables. If the user types the correct username and password, the system should display access granted. Otherwise, it should print access denied and ask the username and password again. Now, this combination to keep going on until the user enter the correct username and password. So there is no way for you to get out of this loop unless you type the correct username and password. As you can see, just reading this exercise, we can see that we are going to probably do some comparison. Basically, if should be here. And since we have to keep asking again and again, we are going to use uh, loops. In this case, the only one we know is while. Okay, let's get started. And another exercise, out insert Java class, and then exercise while 03. Okay, so first thing we need the username and password. So string username, let's say Luffy. And then string password, let's say uh, king. Now, this is what we have saved. So we can say username saved or username uh, db from database is up to you. But I'm putting username saved and password saved. Now, we have, I didn't follow the procedure again. Just pause the video, try to do it by yourself, and then you check the solution. Now we have uh, the variables already with username saved and password saved. Basically, this is the, the values that we are going to compare with whatever the user is inputting. And now we need to uh, figure out how we are going to do the menu. So we already know how to have the menu. Let's create here a variable. In this case, it's basically should I show the menu or should I not? So it will be a boolean because if the username and password is correct, should I show the menu? No. If it's incorrect, show the menu. So boolean uh, show menu, this is true. So while show menu, what should we do? Something that we are missing here is the variable, the scanner. So I'm going to go to the beginning here, scanner, new scanner, and system.in. Okay, so now we have a way, remember, it's supported, to get the data from the user. We have the username and password stored already in memory by the time we reach the while. So the only thing that we have to do is keep asking the username and password. So salt. username and then we have to read the username basically scanner dot next and then here we can say username or imported usernames it's up to you let's just leave username and then without password and again scanner next and here, place a currency, password. So basically, by the time we reach this line, we have here this message. We are going to ask for the username. This message, we are going to ask for the password. Now it comes the condition. When should we show this menu? Basically, if the password, they match whatever we have saved here, we just have to tell access granted and say, hey, you should not show the menu anymore. Now. If the username that we have here in memory is equals, in this case, we cannot ignore case. It should be exactly letter by letter, number by number. It's equals to the username saved and both must match. The password is equals to the password saved. Okay, if this is true, what should we do? We should print salt access granted and then we need to 
get out of the while how do we get out we can make this pause so uh show menu is now pause else we should do the following have access denied and then ask the username and password again since the while will keep going on until this is false let's see how it looks like Control shift f10 we have here username luffy password 123 access denied username luffy password access denied username password access denied so username and password access granted and the program finished okay so this exercise i want to show you something a little bit different remember that i said uh, when we were talking about switch statements if you want to stop the switch from keep going on we can use the word break or whiles that's exactly the same thing we can get out of a while just by using the keyword break okay but we have a problem here because since this will never be uh reached we have uh, an unreachable statement and java don't like uh, that very much but let's say i want to if this exit is granted i just want to get out of the while so another option is like you are not changing the variable but you're just going to literally break why is not giving an exception here because there is a chance this if will never be executed so let's see what happens here i'll put a breakpoint control no actually shift f9 and then i'm going to type correct username and password so look king f8 can you see that we have here access granted and then show menu false and break and then i will press f8 can you see that it came straight to the bottom now if i remove the break and i press shift f9 again and i execute again loof king you will see now show menu that if i press f8 again it's coming to back here but it's coming back to the menu the show menu but it's false and then it will get out now when we have the break and we execute again we have uh, luffy king if i keep going f8 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 it comes here and you see is not coming to the yellow one that the while so basically the break it just get out of the the full while so technically if you have here program finish it you will see that the break or when you have this to false it will come straight here the difference between having the break and having the show menu false is that the break will ignore completely the the condition it will just get out from here it's going to go straight out of the while so shift f9 luffy uh king and then f8 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 and we just jumped straight outside of the while you know why are you telling this because well if we don't have to worry about having uh to go outside this if so if it reaches this if and i know that after this line it's going to go out we can do some cleanup first you see here that they say hey this is never used because after the break the statement will be completely ignored but what we have here on line 20 and it will come straight outside the while block so we can remove this and technically even this the show menu well it doesn't matter anymore so we can only have like while true and we also remove this other variable why because we don't need because it, once we breach this it's going to just break and since this line here will make sure that the program is never executed we can also remove is never executed uh, down here we can also remove the else okay so we know what happened here so basically i had if and else basically if and else the else is going to be executed every time the if is not executed so if the username is not correct what's going to do i'm going to get access denied exactly if i i, I take a look at the else here technically if the user is not correct i'm going to get this 
So I don't have to worry about this condition. And once I have it correct, what's going to happen? It's going to come here, here, and here, and then boom, I'm coming back uh, straight to outside of the while. So let me just show you how this works. So Shift F9. I will put a breakpoint here and then username Luffy and I'll put a wrong password. So as you're going to see, I'm going to skip if and coming back here and coming back here. And I will come back all the way again. And I will ask here username. Oops, wrong username. Let me try start again. F9. Username Luffy and password king. So F8, F8. And then I'm coming all the way to outside the while. The only reason I can skip the else is because of the break. Because if I did not have the break, for example, if I still had the boolean show menu to true here, and here show menu, so I'm just going back here, and I have here show menu false and I will remove the break for a while I cannot have this why because after I have show menu false this will be executed so I will just run control shift F10 as you can see Luffy and then King you can see X is granted X is denied and boom the program finished so that's why we were using else but since we can use break there is no need for this show menu and as you can see the program looks a little bit cleaner oh, we were able to remove a few pieces of code okay so basically that's it let's continue with more uh, loop topics in the next video bye bye